Hey guys, Leonard Peach here to bring you guys a tutorial on how to play Project Lazarus. If you would like to skip to the actual tutorial, then click the timestamp in the description or check out the chapters in the video. Now, Project Lazarus is a simple zombie shooter game on Roblox. Link is in the description if you would like to play it. It is heavily inspired by Call of Duty's game mode, Zombies, also called Nazi Zombies for World at War. I find Project Lazarus to be very relaxing and fun to play for a late night game. Some pros of the game. Number one, time really flies once you are having fun. I recommend putting on some music, but sometimes there is in-game music, but very rare. Number two, you can make some good friends in this game. I made a few friends from just one pro game of Project Lazarus. My last pro is that there isn't just one map. There are two, two different maps, Graduation and Research. I know that might not be a lot, but it makes you think of different strategies to survive. I think that Graduation is the best map for beginners, while Research is for more advanced players, since you have to jump around in teleporters, which can get very confusing for new players. So I have tried to find a game that has the map Graduation on a lower round, like round 5 and below. Anyways, let's talk about the negatives of this game. Not every game is a perfect game. The first con is is joining a game in two later rounds. As you can see, I joined a game that was in the 11th round. I went down two times and decided it wasn't worth it, so I decided to jump to another server. That is the only negative that I can really think of as, about this game. Now onto the actual tutorial. The controls for Project Lazarus are A, S, D, W to move around, F to interact, B for knife, either 1, 2, or use the scroll wheel to switch weapons. If you get mule kick, you can get a third weapon. Just use 3 or just use a scroll wheel as normal. Q or right mouse to aim down the sights, left click to fire, and hold shift to sprint for a short while. When you first start out in Lazarus, you will be given only a pistol, and it is your job to work up to better weapons. The guns that, are, that spawn near you are an M14, SKS, and a Ranger, but on graduation you may spawn near a Ratifico. There are about 10 guns spread around the map on the walls, or you may use the box for 95 points to get a mystery gun. Once you find the power, turn it on to unlock perk machines and pack-a-punch machines. The pack-a-punch costs 5,000 points each time you use it. After that, just try to survive the longest round you can. I was told that around, at around uh, 100, you end up resetting, but I haven't made it that far so far. There are also five perks in the game, but you can only have four at a time. First, there is Quick Revive, which allows you to pick up other players in half the time it normally would take to pick up a downed person. It normally takes 3 seconds, but with Quick Revive, it only takes 1.5 seconds. There is Double Tap Rip Beer, which increases your weapon's fire rate and doubles the damage it does. It costs 2,000 points. Then there is Juggernaut, which doubles your health and it costs 2,500 points. Next is Speed Cola, which increases the reload time for your weapons. It costs 3,000 points. Finally, there is Mule Kick, which allows you to hold a third gun, and it costs 4,000 points. Please note that if you do go down, you will lose all your perks, and if you got the Mule Kick, you will lose your third gun for good. Here are some t simple tricks and tips I'm willing to give you guys. Knife only on the first round to save your ammo as it is a one-hit kill with your knife on the first round. Buy the Remington 870 off the wall for 1,250 points and, it's, and save it for a pack-a-punch machine. It is a beast of a pack-a-punch weapon. Don't stay in someone's training or grinding room as it can get very annoying fast. Trust me, it really pisses me off. When you are down, make sure to help out and shoot or knife the oncoming zombies when someone is trying to revive you. Every little bit helps. Do not go AFK. This is a terrible game to go AFK in, and I had a few people that went AFK and we had to revive them so many times. It got very irritating. Now before I leave, I would like to say a few things. Make sure to subscribe and like the video. My plan is to get to 1k before the summer of 2020. 
Also, drop a comment down below telling me what you thought of the video and if I should do another one just like this. Why not join my Discord? Dis Discord. Why not join my Discord server? You can chat with me or other people in the server, get announcements. I will be at some point playing movies or anime, and I will also be playing music on there. Also, why not follow me on Instagram and Twitter? I will be posting memes, posting updates, and if I ever get fan art, I will post those as well, with full credit to the illustrators, of course. Though I am just a little bit of a heads up, I am more active on Instagram rather than Twitter. Anyways, with all of that out of the way, I hope all of this was helpful to you, and I hope to see you in another video. Take care!